More than 33,000 Boeing union workers are on strike after they overwhelmingly rejected Boeing's contract offer. This is just the latest in a series of crises at the company this year. Boeing machinists spent the night walking the picket line in Everett, Washington, after nearly 95 percent of union workers rejected Boeing's contract offer. The rejected deal included a 25 percent wage increase for all employees, a $3,000 lump sum payment, enhanced retirement plans, lowered employee health care costs, plus 12 weeks of paid parental leave. It also included a major union demand, building the next new airplane in the Puget Sound area with union workers. But the workers want to see a 40 percent return, a raise, I should say, and a return of pensions, which is a no-go for the company. Our contract's been overdue for the past two years, and I, I believe we, we deserve way better because without us, there's no Boeing. We're just trying to make a living, and we're hoping that Boeing sees that and agree, comes to an agreement with us. The strike will essentially halt Boeing production lines in the Seattle area, including work on the 737 MAX. It also delays deliveries of airplanes that are already late to major customers like Dallas Bay Southwest and United Airlines, disrupting their ability to run their businesses. Boeing risks losing up to a billion dollars a week as long as the strike continues. In a statement, the company says it remains committed to resetting our relationship with employees and the union, adding that it is ready to get back to the table to reach a new agreement.